During a recent comment period on PolyMet's environmental impact statement, people traveled from all over Minnesota to have their voices heard at hearings held by the DNR. With the turnout of people that we saw, obviously there's a lot of passionate feeling about this issue. Bryce Henry reports. I, I want this project uh, to go through. I want to see the young people who I am educating right now one day work at PolyMet. But for others, the potential cost to the environment from mining is far too great. Often pitting neighbors against neighbors, the debate has raged on for over 10 years. Some have been active since the start. We don't want to crap in our own nest. That's really what it amounts to. We want to permit this so that it's done right, that it's done clean. If they can't clean up the iron mining industry, which has been in existence for 130 years, why should we have faith that they're going to police the sulfide mining industry. The decade of talks for and against the project prompted busloads of people from the Iron Range to attend the hearing on Thursday. PolyMed executives say they're confident they'll get the green light. No, we're, we're, we're actually very confident in the design that's on the table. We've, we, we've intentionally taken our time over the last several years uh, to, to ensure that we have a design that, that's defensible. In Duluth, Bryce Henry, KBJR6 and Range 11. If permits and land exchange are approved, PolyMet could begin development by the latter part of this year. And I, the big question around here is, of course, uh, everybody wants to know where politicians, from people running for city council all the way through running for Congress and the Senate. So how do you feel about copper nickel mining in general? Unlike my opponent, I haven't waffled on it. I've been spurred from the very beginning, and uh, I'm very much in favor of PolyMet. It's a great project. When you say Nolan waffled on it, Nolan is a supporter. And, and my understanding of what he said on this is I will support it as long as the environment is protected. I, is that waffling? No. When you go back before that, that's just his recent uh, comments that, again, have been slightly askew from fully supporting it. Um, but when you go back to it, he was against it at one time. And then he was for it. And then, arguably, he could be against it. But now he's solidly for it. You don't know where he is on the issue. Have you looked into the environmental concerns about the sulfides that could uh, escape during this process and get into the groundwater? You know, Very much so. Yeah. And uh, I have every assurance and every uh, belief that uh, PolyMet will meet the wild rice standards. And that's a very stringent standard that's even more stringent than the drinking water standard. Well, some say that, that, that that's a whole that's a whole other issue because some say that the wild rice standards are not strong enough and should be looked at again. And, and I know that it's actually still up in the air about whether they're going to increase those sulfide standards. But but I, I'm curious to know about the research, you, you, research you've done. You say you've talked and been assured by those uh, plant officials that they're going to care for the environment. Well, right now the current LTV plant that is there is polluting right now. And what they're going to do is come in, they're going to remove the pollution, they're going to clean it up, and they're going to operate it in an environmental and economically sustainable fashion, creating a lot of jobs for our part of Minnesota. Well, let's talk about those jobs. Have yeah. you, have you uh, looked into how many jobs would be created, not just at the plant, but in the spin-off industries as well? Well, I mean, those are things that uh, economists can extrapolate all the way out, but it could be anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000. And some have said that people who are supporters like yourself are criticized for saying you care more about those jobs and about the money that those jobs will bring to our region than you do about the environment. What do you say when they say that to you? Well, first of all, our family came here in the 1870s to work in the timber industry. My great-grandfather mined iron on the southern edge of the Cuyuna Range. And so not only do we care about the jobs, not only do we want to have the jobs that allow us to stay, uh, stay here, we want to make sure that our water, our drinking water, is clean and pure. We hunt here. We fish here. And there is nothing that we would do to endanger the environment for ourselves or for our children. And the PolyMet project is very well engineered. The science is there to support it. And when they look back at problems they had in other copper nickel plants, if they're looking back 60 or 70 years ago in Colorado, that is not the future. That is the past. You are an avid outdoorsman. You mentioned the hunting. We talked about gun control and the right to bear arms and so on. So this is something that would hit you personally if the environment were to be damaged in any way. Well, and again, the engineering is there. You have a plant that's polluting right now. It's sitting derelict. So when you bring uh, jobs forward, you actually positively impact the environment. All right. We are out of time. Stuart Mills will be back to wrap up this edition of Nobel Voice.